In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make a simple animation of a jet plane crash landing. I am going to use a model of a red jet that I made in a previous tutorial. You can make the model yourself or download the file from my website. Press S to scale, point to and enter. Press R to rotate, Z for the Z axis, 180 and enter. In the object menu, apply rotation and scale. Set the Y location of the jet to minus eight. Set the Z location to six. Click the animation tab. Click the insert keyframes button. Select Lock Rot to insert location and rotation keyframes. To insert a second keyframe, I'm going to use the rhyme, go to frame, make change, insert keyframe. Go to frame 10, make change, set the Y location to minus 4. Set the X rotation to minus 6. Set the Y rotation to 12. Go to frame, make change, insert keyframe, insert a lock rot keyframe. If I rewind and play, Blender interpolates between the two keyframes, but the jet stops in midair. I want the physics engine to cut in at frame 10 so that the jet falls to the ground following a nice arc. If I go to frame 10, click the physics tab and click the add active button and press play, nothing happens. And if I rewind and press play, the jet just drops like a stone. The solution is to click the physics button and to keyframe the animated tick box. Make sure you're in frame one. Click to tick the box and then right click and insert keyframe. Go to frame 10, untick the animated box, right click and insert keyframe. Now if we rewind and play, the animation system gives the jet an initial shove between the two keyframes before handing over to the physics engine. Rewind, change the window to a graph editor window. In the key menu, change the interpolation mode to linear. Change the window back to a 3D view and click play. Doesn't make much difference, but now the jet has a constant initial velocity. To add a ground plane, add mesh plane. Press S to scale 1000 and enter. And in the physics tab, click the add passive button. Rewind and play, and the jet crash lands. I want the jet to break apart as it crashes, so I'm going to use the explode modifier. But the explode modifier works with a particle system. Select the jet, click the particles button, click the new button to add a new particle system. Set the number of emissions to 100. Set the frame to start emitting to 35, roughly when the jet hits the ground. Set the total length of the animation to be 150, so that the jet has not completely broken apart by the end of the animation. Click the modifiers button. Click the add modifier button. Select the explode modifier, tick cut edges, press play, 
and now parts break off the jet but the parts that break off pass through the ground plane select the ground plane click the physics button click the collision button and set the stickiness to its maximum value of 10 with the ground plane selected click the material button click the add new material button click the diffuse color and set the red value to 0.7 the green value to 0.5 and the blue value to 0.1 now when we rewind and play the bits that break off the jet stick to the ground that's the end of the tutorial I'll put the start file and the end file for you to download at my website www.freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.